that's the pool. Right there. That's where I'm headed when I finish this video. Damn straight. Boy, did I get a lot of flack for my video yesterday, man. Every direction. Let me tell you guys something. A lot of you, I love a lot of my subs, man. A lot of my subs, like they get it. God gave them all this common sense and they use it. You know, I say you can learn, you can go to school and you can achieve and you can, you can learn all the book smarts you want. But if God didn't give you common sense, you ain't got street smarts, you are screwed. Okay? And a lot of you dudes commenting on my post, y'all are proven you have no common sense. You have no street smarts. It's embarrassing for y'all. I'm embarrassed for you. So anyway, I kind of hinted yesterday. Not hinted. Shit, I told y'all. Don't trade this week. I told you guys not to trade this week. Don't trade this week. And I'm getting a lot of flack for it, man. But today, look. Market opens. Bad boy AMC. She shoots almost to $39. Point proven. There are too many variables at play right now with AMC that are brewing that are beyond our control. When something's brewing that, that is this freaking hot and unstable, don't trade because you guys are going to get burnt. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to keep you from losing money. I want you to make money. So why in the world would y'all not just chill and say, instead of me, you know, throwing some bad heat on this guy's videos and commenting and, you know, calling him a clown or calling or saying, hey, man, but you said we need to be doing this. Why don't you just wait till the next day and just see if what I said happens? You know what I'm saying? And if it doesn't happen, then shit talk me. But on a day like today, when I tell you don't freaking trade, don't freak. If I'm not trading and I'm telling you straight up, I'm not trading Something is obviously happening because I'm a money hungry son of a bitch. And if I'm not trading, then you shouldn't be trading. Then there's something going on because if I'm going to lose money or if I'm going to put a halt on making money, then that's proof right there that something is happening that is beyond our control that could cost us cash and we don't want to lose any money. So anyhow, AMC, thank God I followed my own advice. I did not trade AMC. I did not touch any of my money. All my money is in the pot and in the directions that she's going, she's a rattlesnake right now. I'm going to let the rattlesnake bite whoever it wants to bite, but she damn sure ain't going to bite me. My money is there and she's staying until I see this thing level off and I see some consistency. Then I'll begin trading it again. Until then, hell no, I'm not touching it because there's too many variables at play again that are beyond our control. And I only bet very safe bets, bets, almost guaranteed bets. And that's why I've yet to get burnt on AMC because my plays are tiny. They're only one to two dollar, a dollar fifty plays, and they're in uh, zones to where I have already predicted or I have seen trends within three, four, five day trends that I could boom, I can land six, seven day. The day six, day seven, day eight, I can trade those trends because I've been watching it. So, careful. Don't hate the messenger. You see what I'm saying? You guys hate me, and I'm telling you, don't trade tomorrow because the thing's going to blow up. And then, it, you know, of course, it wasn't the fake squeeze, but this is part of what's already brewing. This is part. Today was part of what's brewing. It's, again, it's not within our control. All right. Yeah. 92 degrees. I should be in that water. Part two. Now, you guys are hating on me for saying AMC's not going to $100,000. Guys. Guys. Or you guys are hating on me for saying, well, you're, you're not an ape because you're telling everybody to cash out at $1,500. You're not an ape. No. I'm telling you that fundamentally AMC is only worth 15 bucks, Not even. 12 bucks. So if you wait for the $100,000 or you're waiting for $50,000 a share, $40,000 a share, $30,000 a share, if you're waiting for that absurd number, you want to know where you're going to end up selling? You're going to end up selling at $15 a share because your ass ain't ever going to see no $30,000, $40,000, $60,000 a share. So if you're holding that long, yes, it's holding all the way to the end. Yeah. You might want to change your strategy, son, because it ain't going to happen. Four million people that don't give a shit about you, they don't give a shit about me. Do you think 
that this thing's gonna hit like, let's say it hits 5,000 bucks. I'll be concerned, $5,000. Do you think somebody's gonna go, hmm, but I told the apes I'd hold till 100,000. I'm not selling because I told the apes I was gonna hold. Really? You think that shit's gonna happen? Nah, that thought ain't going through nobody's freaking head. But let me have another reality check. Let me put you guys in, in, you know, bring you back down to earth here for a minute. Realize one thing. Who in the hell says Citadel is going to cover all the naked shorts, they're going to cover all the legal shorts, and it's all going to happen in the same time frame? Who said that? Why would Citadel even do that? You think that even makes sense to them? Honestly, the smartest thing for them to do would be to cover half of the legal shares, which is like 90 million or something, cover half, okay? Because what will that do? If you cover half, let's say you cover 50 million. Price is gonna shoot up, ain't going very high though. Price might shoot up to like four or 500 bucks, who knows, but not, probably not even that. Only because of the, the FOMO. You're gonna have tons of FOMO because the price does, once they cover half, the price is gonna start to skyrocket and then all the FOMO buyers are gonna jump in. But you realize the short interest will be cut in half because the short interest is based on legal shares, not synthetic shares. So the short interest will fall below 10%. And when it does, do you really think AMC is going to continue the momentum that it has right now and the excitement and all the investors are going to be hanging in there after they see the short interest diminish by more than 50%? Nah. That's going to be one trick. That's one trick they have. I'm telling you right now is that they only, I'm surprised they haven't already done it, that they haven't already just covered half of their positions to get this thing to shoot up for everybody to sell, then for it to plummet, then they can cover the other half. Short interest isn't going to go to zero, but it's going to go very, very freaking low. AMC is going to lose all its freaking attention. Everybody's going to walk. Nobody's going to give a shit about AMC. And then what's going to happen? Whatever synthetic shares are left, they can cover those synthetic shares very slowly. They can cover those synthetic shares at whatever the number is because now AMC has been pounced on so freaking hard. So you guys are all thinking this huge number, like I ain't cashing out till it hits 20 G's. You're screwed. You are screwed if you've got that number in your head. Yesterday I said, don't have a number in your head because that's how you get screwed. I do not have a number. You're gonna see the momentum climb. The momentum is gonna go up and up and up and up and up, but you don't know how many shares at that given moment they're gonna cover. If they only decide to cover 40 million shares at that given moment, then that's it. It's gonna sell off. It could plummet all the way down to 30 bucks again. Who knows, 20 bucks. Then they're gonna cover the other half. And if you're holding for 20,000, you are gonna end up selling at a ridiculously low number. You're gonna miss all of the excitement. You're gonna miss all of the money because you had a particular number in your head that was so unachievable, it's so unattainable, it's never gonna happen. So listen to me. I'm getting everything fucking right. You think you'd listen to me. Watch momentum. When she starts to squeeze, just pay attention to the momentum. And if you got any common sense, you got any street smarts whatsoever, your brain will tell you this is it at this given moment and to sell. You might get a second chance because again, she'll plummet. They're gonna cover some more shares. Here's another opportunity to sell. Now I got round two. Okay, well, let me stay in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell this, okay? Now I see an opportunity to buy back in because it just plummeted all the way down to 25 bucks. Let me buy back in at 25 bucks. Look at all the money I made. Wow, now they're covering synthetic shares. Look at that shit. See what I'm saying? This, this co constant covering, guys, I believe, is going to be done in segments. It's going to be done in segments. It's not all going to happen. Why would they screw themselves and chase money up and have to cover synthetic shares when they're driving the market price up as it is? They're shooting themselves in the foot if they cover synthetic shares when they cover legal shares. They're not going to freaking do it. So that's all I was, you know, 
If I don't go into that crazy detail, you guys lose your freaking minds because you don't get it. So that there it is. I've explained it a little better for y'all. That's why I truly believe this is not going over 1500 bucks, maybe 2000 and that's that's a big stretch, guys. The 2000, but again, I'm giving you that stupid number because again, I think you guys need to have a number in your head because you don't understand the momentum side to it. So without a number, you're blind. So there's your number. But the number makes absolutely no difference. The number does not freaking matter. It's the momentum. All right. Hope that makes sense. Hope that explains a lot. I'm sure I'm still going to get a ton of hate for this stupid video. But to my traders, this is a very volatile week. It's a good thing I did that video yesterday because I hope you guys didn't get burned trading this stock today, AMC. I'm not trading it. Again, too many variables beyond our control are brewing right now. Dangerous. And I know big dog day traders that are have that have the same mentality I have this week going into next week that they're very cautious. It's not just me. All right, everybody. That's it. About to hit that pool, baby. Yeah, well, the sun's still shining. Y'all have an awesome afternoon. Doge Warrior out. Shaboom. Peace.